When myself and my wife got married, you know, I was the, uh, the, the spiritual one. She wasn't that one yet, you know. You, 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 you know those of us, you know, in Pentecostal, that uh, our prayer life is the violent, they get it by force. You know, one want to pray, you know, it's war. Labakala. <laughs> Hallelujah. We hold the pole. The whole place is shaking. If we have not done that, we have not prayed. I'm telling you, we are warriors. But I married, I married my wife. My wife, when she's talking to Jesus, ah, you see, oh, Holy Spirit, we love you. We adore your name. How are the angels doing? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And she's done. I was like, what's the of this? You have not prayed. Hallelujah. And when I wake up to pray at night, my wife will get on and say, sweet, you are disturbing the house. Why are you shouting? You are God. Do you have quarry? Eh? I said, sweet, that is how they pray. So I thought my wife was a spiritual. You know, that became a problem for us. I'm telling you, you're going to meet a lot of people and their, their spiritual dynamics. Different. And a lot of us, is different. different. Some of us, you just conclude that the person is not spiritual enough yeah. because he does, not have a, he does not have an attitude of how he expects his prayer life to be. Listen. There's the A city of Christianity and there's the A R O T of Christianity. Sure. Many of us want to marry the A R O T of Christianity sure, sure. because the guy speaks Christianese. Ooh. Thou art holy woman of God. You say this one is spiritual. This one is spiritual. And Christianity is deeper than that. Christianity has a lot to do with your fruits, Ooh. not with the A R O T or the gifts. Amen. If you don't understand that, you're going to make a mistake. Sure. And you will not be patient enough to grow the one that God has for you. you. Don't go and propose to somebody. Don't go and meet somebody and say, uh, okay, you say you want to marry me. How many hours have you prayed? Yeah. <laughs> have you out encounter? What kind of encounter? <laughs> I'm not saying we shouldn't be spiritual. But you see, safety of these things you are looking out for, I know, what the, I know the things that keeps at home. When a generation where a lot of people pretend and there's the A-R-O-T of Christianity everywhere today. Mm. So you must descend beyond the physicality yeah. of Christianity that you see. True, very important. And also understand that people are growing. So we may not grow at the same pace and it's okay. Don't rush the person because of what you imagine the person to be. For example, um, I, I met someone here yeah, not quite long. And in first service, after first service, and then he was at the green room. And then he said, wow, only, because it was my former church. I told you I was from House on the Rock. My husband carried me away. So he met me and was like, oh, well, you are this bold now. You, you know, you, you can imagine. So at the time we were workers in House on the Rock, at the, at the, at the, at the city we were serving, I wasn't like this. So now I'm like this. You get So he's, he's, he was surprised to see me. What am I trying to say? Growth, there is something called spiritual growth that is gradual. Yeah. It will not always be same. As long as a person is teachable, mm. you realize that that's one of the fruits you must look out for. Is the person teachable? Is the person open to growing? Yeah. Once you see it, growth in itself is attractive. Mm. Because somebody can be loud in his or her prayers, but not loud in values. Kai. Kai. It's something you must not... It's something you... I mean, you... you, you this is something that you need to look out for, very importantly. That's what my husband said, there's an, there an act, ACT of Christianity. How does the person behave? Mm. The fruits, the fruits. Even though the person can be gifted, self in speaking in tongues and all of that, which is beautiful, but look out for the fruits. The fruits in a person, it's very important. Yeah, so you don't compare. You don't say, ah, look at that sister, look yeah. at that, she carry fire. You, I don't know what is wrong with your Christian work. No, it doesn't work like that. Look at windows, look at, look at the wife, beautiful and fireful. Amen? I want you to be like her. Hallelujah. She's coming from somewhere. I mean, those, like I said before, her prayer was like this, come and not. She wouldn't fast. She wouldn't do all those things. You know, she wouldn't do any spiritual work. Yeah. She's just there. You know, just open her Bible, just flip through. She likes John 3, 16. And all those, you know, that is there. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. But today, the dynamics is different. Yeah. I mean, a spiritual life has grown. Before, the distance was like this. Now it's like I'm the one for showing her now. Amen? So this was the woman I taught patiently. And I see that she's really catching up and she's doing even more. Ladies and gentlemen, you can build your spouse. Yeah. I, I mean, and that's what makes him a bridegroom. 
When you're truly a bridegroom, you groom your bride. And the brides can exceed you. Mm, mm. There are many men, but there are few bridegrooms. True. In fact, there are many husbands, but few bridegrooms. Yeah. Husbands need to know their role so that they can function effectively. And this is one. Ability to grow your spouse, your partner with patience. So you need to understand that marriage is not the coming together of two perfect hearts. Yeah, but it's the coming together of two imperfect hearts walking towards perfection. And as we walk towards perfection, it's not going to be easy. Yeah, it's but not going marriage, to be easy. But marriage is, is what fighting for. for. 